This is the video instruction for Jose Musen's Deco Star. First, we need to find some references. So just find uh, the half of each side, but you'll mark all the length. Just make pinches on both edges. And open and bring this edge to those pinches and make these other marks increase here on this edge here somewhere at the center in the middle and here on this other edge open turn the paper and repeat edge, edge, center, open, turn the paper, and uh, again, find the middle of each side, open, bring the edge to those creases, and mark here on this edge, here on this edge, and here somewhere around the center turn and repeat now we need to make creases that extend only one fourth on the middle of each side so here 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 and here and you can go like this and you already have a mark here so you know how far you can extend that crease. Open and push it. Now we're going to make some diagonals, but again, you don't extend them from end to end, just somewhere around this fourth. So just bring one edge to the next increase. Align the sides. Increase. Align the other two sides. Crease. turn, align both sides and crease firmly, about one-fourth. Now, we bring this corner to the center of the opposite side, and we make a crease that we don't know exactly where it has to go, but it has to be somewhere near the center. So, we bring the corner Align it perfectly with the center of the other side and make a crease somewhere around here. Open, turn the paper, and repeat the process. The second one is easier because you already have the first one that serves as some kind of reference. You see? You already have this one. Now we made this one. <laughs> Turn and uh, repeat. Now we have three sides of one square. Turn the paper and uh, complete the square. If uh, the creases extend a bit from the from the corners of the square, there is no problem. Now, from the top corner of the of the inner square, you extend a crease that should go to the intersection of this little crease and this mark we did here. Something 
like this you find one point make sure you find the exact uh, another point and then make a crease it should extend a bit far from that intersection and you leave it like this you leave it folded then the next step you take these two layers and fold over this valley crease that is already here that is one of the sides of the inner square so you fold be careful because you're folding over two layers make sure the paper doesn't slip so you make a crease and then you can open so we move on to the next corner locate the corner and the reference make a crease extend it a bit and uh, continue next corner reference and make a sharp crease and the last one corner intersection crease okay oh, sorry. we should have done this before every every side needs to be in every side you need to do the same you leave it folded and then you do like this and crease here it's like copying that crease making a mirror crease of that one you already have there here fold it and you do it on all four sides <laughs> now you turn the paper and you use this diagonal here to make a 22.5 degree crease here you fold the edge to the diagonal and you extend it extend that crease to this point it's very important it's not the same intersection of the of this crease you already have here in this pinch we have here it's a bit to the right you see and then you repeat in the other three three corners so it is very close to the other reference but it's not the same side up we need to do a valley fold that extends from the top corner of the inner square to the right hand side um, corner of the paper so you find the top corner of the inner square and make a well see, we were working on this side it's to be a valley fold on the side so I find it easier to do it this way. Find a corner and uh, make a soft crease until you get a nice point here. Extend it and then when you're sure you make a sharp crease like this. And you repeat with the other three. not shown on the 
diagram, but you still need to do it. You need to extend a mounting fold from this intersection to the right hand side top corner. So you just find the intersection, crease slightly, make sure it ends on a nice point, and uh, then crease sharply. And uh, of course, you repeat that move three more times. Find the intersection, crease lightly, make sure you have a nice point, and then crease sharply. And this is the last one. And now this is the last set of creases. You just need, well, almost. You just find this intersection that is like a triangle here, and there's this crease that comes from the corner. You just find the intersection here and carefully fold it using that intersection as your folding point and then you bring this corner until it touches the inner square somewhere around this area and when you locate that point you make a crease here between the these two creases that extend from the corner repeat find the intersection use it as a folding point bring the top right corner to intersect to touch the one of the sides of the inner square and crease between these two creases you have there open turn the paper and repeat okay This collapsing is kind of interesting. Just make these creases like this. You have this as mounting. These two are mountings too. You, you repeat that all around. Something like this. And you start to collapse from from the edges and you press it like this until it just kind of stops. The model doesn't lay flat anymore. You see there is a valley crease here and this um, layer and you need to extend it to the next layer so you just press both layers together, turn the paper, locate the crease and extend it. And of course, you repeat all around. Find it, fold it like this, and fold it over the existing crease and extend it on to the outer layer. And fold, turn, and crease. And the last one. And those were the last creases, for sure. Now, you keep pushing the other side towards the center. And you turn the paper like this. Make sure this layer remains close to this one and just fold it like this over already existing creases. You see? And repeat. You put this one on top of the previous one. 
and this one on top of the previous one and the last one is a bit tricky but not too much just put the paper beneath and make sure this part goes in there so you have the star on this side with this color change and you turn it over and this is what you get hope you enjoy